Thank you, Sheila. Thank you, the Society, for having me. And I'm glad to see you all this morning for topics which sort of seem like this is us, ultrasound, and what more could we possibly say? But it is my pleasure today to speak to you about the gallbladder. And this is the outline of what I'm going to talk about, uh, a bit on whether this is or is not cholecystitis, and then some pitfalls. You know, we think the gallbladder is easy or whatever, but it isn't always so, and I will share some of that. Then we'll talk a little bit about other organs in the area that can cause a problem, a little about the right kidney, and then some interesting miscellaneous topics of, that you might come across in the right upper quadrant, causing pain totally unrelated to the gallbladder. Not a lot exists new in the literature, certainly in our literature, I should say, about the diagnosis of acute cholecystitis. And if you look at the appropriateness criteria from the ACR, certainly ultrasound is the top imaging modality uh, for this diagnosis. But in, in fairly large analyses, if you look, ultrasound for acute cholecystitis does not come in at 100%. It certainly doesn't come in at 90%. It's actually a little bit lower. Um, nuclear scanning clearly is higher, but gives you limited other information. And so that's what puts ultrasound, certainly in terms of no ionizing radiation and ease of uh, ability to order the study, high on the list. But remember that number, and let's see if we can improve our diagnosis uh, and make that higher in our own practices. 